Before we had our own caterpillars, we found this group in the wild on a stinging nettle. They were all wriggling around, and this is so they appear as one much larger being to ward off predators. Caterpillars spin silk in nature to help them stay stuck to plants, and also to pull leaves around themselves to hide from predators. We watched as ours used them as little bridges and little hammocks to sleep in. As caterpillars, they breathe through holes in their sides called spiracles. Once they're ready to emerge from their chrysalis, they use these holes to take in air and the extra pressure helps them crack open so they can emerge safely. When we moved our chrysalis into their netted enclosure, we noticed a lot of wiggling. This is a defence mechanism designed to frighten off potential predators. Don't worry, they don't do this for long. Once they're nice and calm, they stop wiggling. I think this fact amazed me the most. Whilst going through their metamorphosis, the caterpillar parts inside actually liquefy and rearrange to become the organs, cells and tissues of the butterfly. When the butterfly first emerges, its wings are small and shriveled. It pumps insect blood into the veins of the wings to expand them to full size. In nature, their beautiful colours attract a mate but they can close them up and the colours are much more muted to allow them to camouflage more easily. We were a little shocked when we saw what looked like blood once our butterflies had emerged. But this isn't blood at all, but a waste product or meconium left over from the metamorphosis. In fact, it's actually ivory and you can see that in silk moss. It's only red because of the butterfly's colouring. When our beautiful butterflies emerged, their tongues started off as two strands. During wing expansion, they coil and uncoil it to fuse these strands together to make a straw-like tongue. These are perfect for sipping up nectar, and when not in use, they stay curled up under their heads. Butterflies have an all-liquid diet. They mainly feed on nectar, but occasionally sip from puddles. This is usually seen in the males. They also enjoy fresh-cut oranges, apples or old bananas, as well as sugar water. Once released, our butterflies will mate and lay eggs on the underside of leaves. Once hatched, these tiny caterpillars will eat the bottom of the leaves and begin their life cycle all over again, growing, pupating, metamorphosizing and emerging. If you'd like to see more about these beautiful butterflies and our experience with them, please check out the playlist on the channel.